Hello friend, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to fix DOM10079 cannot start service. So this error or this problem that occurs due to here, if you are using Oracle 32-bit operating systems and Power Center Informatica 64-bit operating system if you are using. So if you are using 64-bit Oracle, 64-bit Power Center, then there is no any problem that will appear. But to this problem that comes because Oracle 32-bit and here 64-bit Power Center. I did the same mistakes. Now if I go here, if I go here, you can see this here, Informatica 10.4 and 64-bit operating system for that I'm using. Okay, so this is here 64 bit operating systems, but Oracle that I install 32 bit operating systems. So now if I go at this place, so if I try to create new or uh, repository service, repository service. So let's give the repository service name rep 4 and uh, select this option. Then click next. Then after here selecting Oracle and let's uh, search here PLS square so giving the username and giving the password so it's connector let's create new user create user if6 identify by inf6 then we need to provide the grant grant DBA to INF 6 press enter so let's give you username INF 6 and the password INF 6 this is here over here Let's give and no content. Then after click on this finish. So it's try to enable and executing the action of the repository trying to create. So there there must be the error that comes DOM10079 because Oracle 32 bit client that I'm using and informatica 64 bit here you can see this is the problem so to resolve this issue you should use your oracle 64 bit and informatica 64 bit then this error you cannot see after installing oracle 64 bit operating system and informatica 64 bit operating system there i able to create the repository and the integration service so here you can test so new then repository so let's give here the name rip1 and uh, this one give this all details thereafter create next and selecting the oracle now let's create the uh, new user okay so let's create so create user inf3 then Let's skip the password and ground db to inf3. So after that, let's give your username inf3. Then here inf3. Then this place connection a string or cr. Then here check that enable person control and click on this finish. So now you can see this is not tracking because or their net must be connected. This is now let's connect on this finish. So after that it's a working. So here this is now executing action and repository. So there is the problem session expired. So let's give here again username and the password. Press enter. 
now you can see repository rep1 that's available there is no any problem so okay so if you get dom related or problem 10097 so here must be remember that if you are using oracle 32 then power center 32 or oracle 64 then power center 64 then there or no any error occur so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you